a renowned author of the early 19th century. He once quoted saying, if you educate a man, you educate a man. If you educate a woman, you educate a generation. But in today's world, which is technically very much advanced, but chemically terribly polluted, what is the cost that a woman has to pay for her education? Is it a lifetime of suffering or is it her life itself? Whenever I think about the anguish, my hands and legs freeze in fear. And whenever I try to write describing their pain, I'm always short of words. It's unbelievable as to how a human being can become so evil and act so senselessly. And the trauma after something so dreadful happens that a woman has to face is absolutely unimaginable. Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, very good evening. Amen. I am talking about acid attacks. When I titled my speech, I am no litmus, most of you must have thought, what litmus is she referring to? Yes, I am talking about the very own litmus paper which we have studied in our chemistry back in our childhood that it turns red when an acid attacks on it. But why am I referring to a litmus paper here is because men at least in the last one decade, have started a new way of harassing women just to gratify their anger, their revenge, their lust, and most of all, their ego. They started pouring acid on women. Please help me portray one such case before you. Hi, Aslam Ali. My name is Tuba Tabasu. I am studying 10th standard in Bihar. I go to tuition every morning 5.30. And this is what happened. Ami, I am going to tuition. I saw four of my classmates coming towards me and one of them trying to talk to me and trouble me. I come from a very conservative family so I don't talk to boys. And this is what I had to face. I was walking on the road and one, the guy who came and talked to me, he says, Hey Tuba, hey Tuba. Hey Tuba, talk to me na. Hey look at me na Tuba. And I was continuing to walk. If you don't talk to me, if you don't look at me, see what I do. Because her mouth is jammed. 
she lives on liquids and she can't even breathe to help her breathe doctors have put these incisions in her nose so that she can survive so please i would request all you toast masters please share your kindness by visiting www.stopacidattacks.org and extend your support and help them survive and one final request for all the men around the world i take this as an opportunity i went on my knees and plead i am a woman and i know it is over to you thank you so much